Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is well. Today I got a nice fun little tutorial in After Effects where we're gonna make this cool looking text transition, zoom in, fade in, thingy, whatever you wanna call it, but let's just jump into it. Alright, so I'm already in Adobe After Effects and you want to start by making a new composition and instead of making a 1080p composition, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's say 2400 by let's say 1400. This gives us some room to do some panning, some zooming in later on. And first things first, we're going to import a background video clip and a paper like texture so right mouse click go to import file and just import some stuff you like all right so i've imported this video let me drag it into the composition and as you can see it's a nice drone shot i downloaded from pexels.com and let me just disable the audio we won't need that and over here we have a nice paper texture so import that as well and I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit. And another thing we wanna do is we wanna create a nice looking vignette. So I'm gonna start by creating a black solid and I'm just gonna double click on this ellipse tool. And it automatically fills up the whole screen. Now, when I open up the masks panel, you can see you can invert it. So that's what we're gonna do. But we also need to add some Gaussian blur to it. So just look it up in the effects panel and just drag it onto the solid. And make sure to check on the repeat edge pixels. And now just drag this all the way up. Actually, I'm just gonna type in a crazy amount. That's way too much. Maybe something like this should be fine. And I'm just gonna change the mode to overlay. It looks a lot better. Now it's time to create some text. So click on this T and just type in something you like. Make sure you align it to the center of the composition. So go to the align panel horizontally align it and also vertically align it there we go and I'm also gonna set the anchor point to the middle you don't need to do this but I always like to do this and I'm using motion tree to do so there we go now let's get back to the texture layer and we're gonna look for an effect called set mod just drag it on the texture layer and again, check invert mod. And for take mod from layer, we're gonna select the text layer. And now you might wonder why do you still see the white text layer? Uh, well, that's because it's still here. So we're gonna turn it off. And now you can see that already starts to look pretty cool. Now let's just zoom out this video layer a little bit. And I'm also gonna scale down the texture a little bit. I think it looks a little too big. Something like this should be fine. And now it's time to zoom in. So after a few seconds, just pause it in the timeline and we're gonna create a keyframe for the scale. And now move it a little further and we're gonna create another keyframe and now we're gonna scale it up. All right, so as you can see, this is going wrong. So what we're gonna do is, we're also gonna create keyframe for the anchor point because we have to make this work. Create another keyframe and now we're just gonna move this. See, that looks better. And now we can change the keyframe for the scale once again. So zoom it in more and more. Okay, that 
that still looks a little weird so we're just gonna set this back I'm gonna apply ease and width to it all right that's starting to look better now a small thing I like to do is enable motion blur. So click this icon and make sure you enable it on the layer as well. And there we go. All right, so that's step one. Now we're gonna do the same with the video. We want it to zoom in a little bit. So create two keyframes. And this one we can either zoom it in like this but maybe it should be the other way around hmm, what do you think I think we should zoom in right let's add ease and width to it as well and of course we should also apply the motion blur to this layer maybe we should move this back a little I also want this layer to get a little darker when we zoom in. So let's look for brightness and contrast. Just apply it to the texture layer and now go to effects. I'm just going to create a keyframe for brightness. Create a keyframe at the end of the transition and just drag this down to minus 100. Let me see what we have. It's starting to look cool, but uh, I don't know. I think we still need to add some more blur. So let's see what we have. Directional blur. Radial blur. What do you think? Is that it? So the amount should be zero when we start. It should probably be zero when we end but somewhere in between I think this should be very high whoa that's crazy maybe just six should already end over here so something like this That's it. Yep, I think that looks pretty awesome. So as a final step, you could create a new composition, make it 1080p, and now just import that composition we just made. And now let's just center this a little bit. Something like this. And now you could play around with the skill settings. So maybe start at 95%, I don't know. So you slowly zoom in and then... Yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Of course you can add some cool sound effects. Of course you can play around with different blur settings, different zoom settings different videos, different textures, whatever you like. But I think the basic elements of this transition are very clear after this tutorial. So I hope it's useful. If you like this stuff, please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.